In this tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to a tool that lets you send REST API requests and see the responses. I'm talking about a REST API client. Uh, there is some amount of work that you can do with REST APIs in a browser. For example, if you type in the URL in the address bar and hit enter in any of your uh, favorite browsers, the browser actually makes a GET request. But that's actually not what we want. We want to be able to send a request and examine the response in good amount of detail. We also want to be able to choose the kind of methods that get sent, right? We have the put method, we have the delete method. The browser is not really ideal for that, right? The browser is usually capable of handling just get and post methods. So we want more control over the kind of requests that we send, and we want to be able to examine the response in a good amount of detail. So we're going to look at a tool which helps us do that. There are a lot of clients out there in the market and uh, some of the best ones and some of the easiest ones to get started with are typically browser plugins in my opinion. I'm actually using Chrome right now and Chrome has this really nice plugin for our REST client which is called Postman. In order to install Postman, what you need to do is go to the web store in Chrome and once you're there, you search for Postman, and you see this Postman REST client. You don't have to go for the package tab, just get the Postman REST client, just click on it, and uh, you should see an install button over here. Since I already have it, it says launch app. So once you've installed it, you should see it in the installed apps. So click on that, and you see the Postman interface. You don't have to use Postman, by the way. If you're using Firefox, there are a bunch of plugins for that. And even in Chrome, there are a couple more plugins. Postman just happens to be my favorite. You can use whatever plugin you want and follow along. But if you're interested in Postman, I'm just gonna give you a quick overview of what this plugin does. So at the very top here, you have the request URL, which allows you to enter the URL where you wanna make the REST API call. I'm just going to choose HTTP colon double slash javabrains.kashik.org, my website. I'm going to do a GET request here. And if I hit send, basically it's going to return the response itself, right? So this is how it's different from the browser. If you're accessing this in the browser, you would see the rendered HTML. But here you actually see the response body right? And uh, you have a cookies tab here where you can actually see the kind of cookies that the site is assigning. You have the headers tab which shows the header values for the response. There's also this information bar over here which says the status is 200 OK, which is the HTTP status code. Now here in the drop down, you can choose the kind of HTTP method that you want to use to access this URL. Now, if I were to make a POST request to the same URL, it's gonna give me an error message, right? And you see here, there is a GET request and there's a POST request, which is, it's basically tracking all the different kinds of requests that I've made. So I can immediately switch back to the GET request and just hit SEND and it returns the same response because it makes the same request. So here it stores your history, which is a set of all the kind of requests that you've made. You also can enter URL parameters over here, which is basically the question mark and then key equals value that you typically have for your URL, but you can actually enter a key value pair kind of a format over here. You can also enter header values, which is basically what, uh, it, it's again a key value pair set of values and it, it basically sets the request header values and when you hit send, the request that goes in will have these header values preset. Now, if you do a POST request or any of those other requests, let me switch these two off. When you do a POST request, you see that you, you get this option. You can choose form data, URL encoded data, and raw. The raw option is what we're gonna choose mostly in this course. And when you choose raw, you get a text box over here. What you type here will go in as the post body of the request. Now, if I were to do a put, I still get this box where I can send something in the put request body. 
Of course, this box goes away when I'm doing a get because you really cannot send anything in the request body of a get. But uh, yeah, if you were to use one of these methods, you can enter the request body. Now, if I were to use JSON, I can enter JSON over here and it's gonna color code it because I selected this JSON value. Or you can just choose text to enter any kind of text here. So this is um, Postman in a nutshell. You would have similar functionality in any of the other REST API clients you use. Uh, you're free to use whatever you want, but in this course, I have to pick a tool and I'm gonna choose Postman. If you wanna follow along, you can install Postman in Chrome or you can follow along with any other uh, plugin or tool of your choice, it really doesn't matter. But the fact is you are going to need some kind of a REST API client when we are developing REST APIs because you wanna test out our APIs and make different kinds of requests, which is not possible in a standard browser. So if you're looking for a tool, give Postman a try and uh, have it installed. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.